No battle heading out the door this morning. Off to a pretty quiet start, looking good, as you can see from the Intermountain camera, looking north across the Salt Lake Valley, where uh, we have a mild temperature of 51. It's 41, though, in Tooele. Uh, starting out just shy of that in Evanston at 40 degrees. Most of us are in the 40s and 50s, although a lot colder in Ely, 28. In Elko, it's 39 degrees. Uh, fair skies across much of the state, but some clouds in the north as well as in the east, and even a few showers popping up. Some of those that were going over the higher terrain have largely tapered off for the time being, but uh, eastern Box Elder County, north of Tremont, and over in the Cache Valley, some very light showers coming down as a very weak cold front makes its way in. It's associated with the trough of pressure that's dropped down out of Canada, and a little disturbance associated with that is heading to our north and will continue continue to move east later today, but the front moves across the north, kind of stalls out in central Utah later today, remains in place tomorrow, and then uh, weakens and drifts out of here by uh, the end of the work week. That's when we'll start to warm up again. But this afternoon, we're only going to climb to 59 in Salt Lake, which isn't too far off the mark for this time of year. Our average is 62, but uh, that forecast is about five degrees lower than we were yesterday afternoon. That being said, it's a mainly dry front. Most of any precipitation would be very light in the far north. Also some light rain and snow showers over the mountains. But uh, while clouds will linger in the far north and over the higher terrain, it will become mostly sunny across much of northern Utah, while in the south it will be sunny and warm with a lot of temperatures running a little bit above average for this time of year. That will put you all the way up in the low 80s in St. George. It climbs into the mid 80s tomorrow and Utah's Dixie stays that way into the first part of the weekend and then by early next week warming up even more. In fact, it would be hovering near 90 by Sunday and Monday. And in Salt Lake City, after a chilly start tomorrow, it'll be sunny and near 60 again. But as that front weakens, temperature climbs by the end of the week. Mid-60s on Friday and all the way back into the low to mid-70s over the weekend. But there's a chance we might even hit 80 degrees or at least come pretty close to that by Tuesday of next week.